Hi, it's Thomas Steed here. Just coming at you again with another quick update on the Red Wing Hawthorne Mule Skinner Classic Chelsea. So I do need to actually do a little bit of a uh, disclaimer, a little bit of an update. There was some misinformation in some of my previous videos. Some of that had to do with miscommunication with uh, Red Wing when somebody had brought it to my attention that there was uh, foam inside and it is the uh, pour-on layer inside of there. When I checked on their website, they have updated it since then. Um, underneath part of the description, they had described it as a full grain leather and cork and they had left out that pour-on part when I called and talked to them. There was miscommunication in between the customer service rep that I had spoken with and the product development team, and I don't know if they were reading the wrong item description or what to me, but that there was some miscommunication on that, and I, I misspoke earlier. I'm not perfect, and I'm sorry, but I am here to let you know that the comfort cushioned insole on this is, in fact, a pour on layer a lot of companies do this um, and the actual leather that is used on top of that is a, uh, a chrome tanned leather so it is not the uh, vegetable tanned leather that you would expect inside of most of your other heritage lines you know I mean, it just kind of is a, it's kind of an opinion thing it you know it's preference these definitely become a little more conformed to your feet a little bit faster, I, I had noticed, than um, uh, you know, the Mock Toes or your Iron Rangers, any of the rest of them that have the just straight cork and vegetable tan. Um, you know, I myself, I'm not as big on the pour-on or any kind of... Uh, synthetic materials inside of them. There's also a uh, synthetic lining, a fabric type lining in the front, which, you know, they say helps wick sweat and get that off. My issue with, you know, any of the, those types of synthetic materials is, is their tendency to breed bacteria a little bit more. I mean, you can tell me that it wicks the sweat, but, you know, how am I supposed to clean that out? that and they, they have a tendency to degrade faster uh, than other materials luckily back in the back side of the uh, heel you can't probably see inside of there but there you well in that angle you kind of can back in here it, it, it is leather and the biggest area that i am fully concerned with inside of a boot there being a synthetic layer is that uh that heel counter cover Anytime that you have a synthetic there, you're, if you have any kind of hill slip or anything like that, it just blows out bad. And so, I mean, luckily, these are not constructed terribly, okay? I'm not going to tell you not to buy this boot. It's a fantastic boot. I love this boot. It is probably one of my most commonly worn. I wear it pretty much daily um, when I'm at home when it's something that I can just quickly throw on get out the door go and do something that's what I'm I'm, I'm going for because you know typically if I'm you know out working you know I'm I'm in my Franks I actually have been wearing those all day I they still I'm not uncomfortable wearing them but when it's time that I've decided I'm taking them off I'm this is the next thing that's probably going to go on my foot. Um, the other shoe that I do wear very, very frequently is also the other Red Wings, the Slates. As you guys have seen if you've watched my videos, the uh, Slate Mule Skinner Mock Toe. Um, those, are, those are fantastic. Those are definitely the ones that I opt for uh, when I'm going up on a roof and doing uh, any inspection or anything like that but we're going to give you a quick look at these so i i do once again apologize for any misinformation that you know you may have 
gotten from my previous videos I did put a disclaimer on those um, after the fact when I uh, found out you know and I do have to give a shout out to uh, Nick from Stridewise for his video on these where you know he went to Red Wing and they had it cut in half and it was fully disclosed to the public what all was inside of here um, I, I do commend Nick for that and if you're not subscribed to Stridewise I don't know what you're doing I don't know why you're on my channel viewing my videos and you ain't you know subscribed to the big guys already so go over there check him out um, there's also uh, CJ Cook you know he's the the Red Wing King he's got probably more Red Wings than anybody out there I can think of uh, there's there's a few others but uh, those are the two that come straight to my uh, top of my head there's also Boot Spy Boot Spy is a real a really great channel I'm sitting here giving shout outs to all, all these other content creators anyways do your research follow some people find out about them and as I said these are fantastic boots I love them they're very comfortable there's you know obviously there's a couple of things that I would change and I've voiced it to Red Wing you know what what it w would be that I would change in in these and that would be uh, going with the actual leather on the inside rather than the fabric and then um, you know I don't even have a problem with the chrome tan footbed layer but I would definitely go with a thicker cut or two cuts of chrome tan instead of the, the pour on you know just Put more cork and more chrome tan leather. You, you don't need to bring synthetics into a heritage boot. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I did speak with them today on these. And there has been some misconception out there in the uh, Budosphere. On, I, I noticed it on Reddit where people were thinking that these had been canceled and that they were discontinued this is not the case these boots have not been discontinued they've just held production off for a little while they're gonna focus on their uh, their primaries their staples you know um, and a lot of this has to do with supply chain issues uh, this is something that you'll find uh, kind of across the industry right now is, is that there's been some supply chain issues with uh, sourcing the leathers, sourcing thread, eyelets, all, all kinds of materials, zippers, whatever it is. It's just across the entire industry of everything, honestly, when it comes to manufacturing anything. There's a lot of hiccups in our supply chain right now. Some of it has to do with employment problems. Some of it has to do with selling, shipping, all of it. I mean, probably 90% of it comes down to the fact that there's an employment crisis going on. So I did... I'm definitely all about the free market, capitalism, and everything. Don't be pointing your fingers at me calling a social, calling me some socialist now. But pay your people more. If you pay people more, they're probably going to be more likely to to work for you. So that and that's that's not calling out Red Wing or anybody specifically at the lower end of things. This has to do with distributors you know, uh, all, all across the board, there's a lot of things. If you've noticed that your workforce has declined and you're having a problem employing people, you might need to offer them some better incentives. If you're making so much money, but you can't seem to pay your people a livable wage, that might be the problem. Okay, that's... We're at a point in time where a lot of companies are actually fighting for employees rather than employees fighting for employment. So that's, you got to think about it and weigh your pros and cons. There's, I'm, I'm off that rant. Anyways, fantastic boots, fantastic company. If you're able to get your hands on a pair of these, you know, um, if it's what you're looking for, Go for it. I mean, if 
it's not what you're looking for. Red Wing is definitely producing other other Heritage Line boots. They are a large company. They got plenty of products that you can choose from at this point, you know. But there are definitely a couple of things that, you know, due to manufacturing issues, supply chain issues, there are hiccups along the way. And so some of those things are kind of being held back, you know, and that's that's just the way it is. You know, when I got, you know, my Franks, you know, it due to supply chain issues, that was that was what held those up. And, you know, also a large influx of orders due to, you know, all the funny money that kind of got pumped into the system by, uh, you know, them doing all those stimuluses and stuff. So anyways, like I said, let's get off of that topic. I'm all about the free market, and sometimes that market uh, works more in the uh, employee's favor. So we need people back to work, so pay us. Um, here's a good look at them. Hopefully I've given you all a pretty decent look. Um, now let's talk about, uh, what I've got on them. Obviously, I've used Obanovs, um, as my waterproofing on those. I have pr pretty much on all of my boots. That's what I, is my go-to. Um, I'm going to start using Bic 4. I've picked some of that up, um, for... Any spot conditioning on these, they're pretty well waterproofed at this point in time. Uh, I guess we can look at my wear pattern. This is my left, this one's my right. Um, since wearing the, uh, the Franks and working on adjusting my wear pattern, you can see that the wear pattern is a lot better on these than on a lot of my other ones, but... I do still have my uh, my instep pivot. I uh, for some reason I, I have a tendency to pivot off of the inside of that right foot, and I think that's a large portion of what causes some breakdown on a lot of my others. I'll show you another pair of boots so you can kind of see where I'm talking, where I'm coming from. So on these Timberland, you can see on there on my right foot you see that if you're wearing your boots out like this you're doing it wrong and you're going to be causing yourself a lot of back pain actively try and correct your date it'll save you a lot of pain a lot of hurt and then when you uh when you get up into, you know, a nice pair like this, some Franks, I did a video, I pointed out my uh, heels set differently on this one, which also helps with some of that corrective um, gait pattern, the way that I'm stepping. Um, but since doing that and working on my, the way that I'm landing on my, my, uh, my feet when I take a step it has definitely decreased a lot of the pain that I'd, I'd gone through I used to have pain all the way up my legs and back and it was a mess don't walk like a fool walk like you plan on walking when you're 60 it'll help anyways I'm already past 13 minutes we're gonna be we're in the 14 minute mark going on to 15 I forgot it probably in the beginning. Like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. I love to interact with you guys. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.